Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna be checking out the Samsung Galaxy A03s. This phone is on sale at the time of this video. I'll have some links down in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. The price is just $141, which is what I personally paid for this phone. We have two different configurations. One has 64 gigabytes of storage and four gigabytes of RAM, which is this phone here. And then there's also a three gigabyte model with 32 gigabytes of storage. And I'm super excited to check this one out with you guys since we have a large display, big battery for a lower, more affordable price. Top here we have a pamphlet. Next we have our phone here, the A03S. This phone is going to be rocking a teardrop hole punch cutout at the top. We have a triple lens camera setup on the back. We also have a fingerprint sensor actually on the side here. Yes, I'm loving this phone even more now just because of seeing that fingerprint sensor on the side. Let's see what else we get in the box here. This is a five watt charger, even though this phone is capable of 15 watt fast charging. We do have a charger in the box at least, so I can't complain. We have a USB type A to type C charging cable. In the bottom of the box here, we have a SIM ejection tool. That's it for everything in the box. We do not get any earbuds with this phone. Quickly check our top pamphlet here. We do not get a case either with this phone, but we do have our usual warranty and other information. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the Galaxy A03s. Super excited to jump into this one with you guys, especially now that I see we have that fingerprint sensor built into the power button. But initially here, I'm really liking this blue color actually. I seem to be a sucker for blue Samsung phones. For example, my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. There aren't too many blue Samsung phones, but the ones that do come out, I seem to love them. And now there's one at a more affordable price point. We have a very flush camera square against the back of the phone here. It's pretty flush. I like that it's not sticking out a ton. We have easy to reach volume buttons above that fingerprint sensor. And then on the bottom here, we have a single bottom firing speaker. We have our type C port again, 15 watt fast charging capable, but only comes with a five watt charger in the box, have a microphone. And we also have a beloved headphone jack. And on the left side here, we have our SIM tray quickly checking out the SIM tray here. We have two SIM card trays in addition to a micro SD card slot. I love to see that here on this affordable Samsung phone. Let's go ahead and boot up. And here is our first look at the 6.5 inch 720p LCD display here on the A03s. We have relatively slim bezels around the bottom. We have a little bit of chin here at the bottom of the phone. Again, on the top here, we have the teardrop design. Doesn't really dig too much into the display. This is definitely a larger phone in general considering the original Galaxy A01 was only a five point something inch screen or so. So there's been a major change in this lowest end Samsung A series phone. We are now up to a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with that 6.5 inch display. I think this guy is gonna be a battery beast. We'll check out some initial testing here, but I'm gonna go ahead, put all my information into the A03s, play around with it for a bit, and come back to you guys with my first impressions on what initially here seems to be a pretty nice phone. All right, so I've been using the Galaxy A03s for the past couple of days now actually, and I'm ready to share some of my first impressions with you guys. So starting off with the physical form factor and design, I'm really liking the look of this phone, just especially because of that blue color, I'm really liking that. I just like the flat camera module on the back, it just makes for a slim back design overall. And then even though this does have a bigger, beefier battery, I'm not feeling like this phone is super thick. It is a large phone because it has a larger display, but I'm just liking overall the feel in the hand and the design and the form factor of this A03s. And then jumping into the phone with the fingerprint sensor, I absolutely love just how quick and easy and effective this works. As you've been able to see here, the fingerprint sensor has been working great for me initially here, just getting into my phone right away whenever I want to, whenever I need to. Really liking the biometrics and unlocking getting into the A03s. So how has actual use been with the A03s? So the processor used in this phone is honestly not that great. 
So a lot of times you'll find that you're just gonna have a little bit of stuttering, like just there. You're gonna have just a little bit of stutter in whatever it is you're gonna be doing on your phone. So no matter whether that's been browsing through the news here or browsing some web pages or jumping into some gaming, we'll do some gaming tests in a bit here. It's just been kind of this experience where you're doing what you would be able to do on any other phone. It just happens to just be a little bit slower. So it's not something where I'd say it's a deal breaker and this phone isn't worth it or anything. It's just keep that in mind that when you are going to be using this phone, it is just gonna be a little bit slower. I am also really enjoying the large 6.5 inch display here on this A03S. Yes, it is a 720p resolution. So it's not gonna be your clearest video, your clearest text when reading things on the display. But honestly, the viewing experience has been fine for me. It's really getting the job done at this price. I'm really liking just the large display screen size offered here. But to see how much this phone could really handle, I did several gaming tests, starting out with Stardew Valley. And this is a game that I test on pretty much all my devices. And what I'm finding here is that the game runs. You can definitely do all the actions and play the game as intended. It's just gonna be a little bit more sluggish. So it's definitely not the best, but it's not the worst either. And it runs fine. Just keep in mind, it's just gonna be a little bit slower. Call of Duty Mobile was okay. Again, it was playable. Just sometimes when there's a lot of action going on, it kind of slows down a little bit. But overall, again, I was able to play a game through and really enjoy it. Also played a little bit of old school RuneScape on here. Again, it's not gonna be super smooth like it is on some of the higher end Samsung phones, but overall I could still play the game, I could enjoy it. So again, got the job done for me. And then a game that maybe not a lot of people know about, this is called Battle of Polytopia, and it's just cool to play, just a different orientation game overall, but with this bigger, taller screen, that has definitely been an enjoyable experience as well. And that game really doesn't need any processing power, so it actually ran really smooth here on the A03S, which I really enjoyed. And we do just have the single bottom firing speaker here on the A03S. We don't have like a dual speaker setup, but honestly, it's been fine for me. It gets plenty loud. I've actually found myself sometimes jacking up the volume and it was just too loud, so I would just have to turn it down a few notches. So. Even though it is just that one speaker, it's definitely plenty loud enough. Initial testing of the battery has been okay. It's really not honestly a great battery life, even though we have that larger 5,000 milliamp hour battery size. So for example here, watching 55 minutes or close to an hour of YouTube took about 15% battery. So even though we have, again, that larger battery capacity, I don't think it's the most battery efficient phone I've ever used by any means. And then just a little bit of time taken on some of these games has taken about 3% in 10 minutes. So that equates to about playing a game for an hour and it taking about 18 to 20% of your battery. So it is nice that we do have that larger battery capacity here. It's gonna get the job done. Taking a look at the cameras on the back, we do have a triple lens setup with a standard macro and depth sensor lenses, but it's just an okay experience for me. It's really just all right. And then on the video side of things, we have 1080p 30 video. And again, video quality, just okay. It's nothing spectacular, but if you need to film some video in a somewhat higher resolution, then you're able to quickly do that. And the front facing camera is also okay. So to sum up my first impressions here on the Galaxy A03S, I am really liking everything that is offered here at this price, at the $141 price tag that I paid for this phone. I got four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, a 6.5 inch display that gets bright enough. We have a pretty loud single bottom firing speaker. We have a very average, if not below average processor. So from a value standpoint, I am really enjoying this phone. And then as far as the actual user experience goes, it's pretty good. And this is something I could definitely recommend to a grandparent who needs a larger display to see or to give to your kid so they can play mobile games on this and watch some YouTube videos and stuff. And let me know what you guys think of the Galaxy A03S down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to the Shane Simons YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.
and take care.